Chris Crone, and we're back today with Limitless Wealth TV doing some advanced vocabulary. Some of you have been asking questions about amortization and depression. I mean, depreciation, that can be a little depressing. One of those two terms, you're going to have to figure out which ones. We're going to all break it down for you and help you understand what amortization and depreciation really mean. All right, so for today's advanced real estate vocab, we're talking about amortization versus depreciation. Now, this is a really hot search for term, and sometimes people confuse these two terms. So what I want to do today is just break it down for you and get into the nitty gritties of really what it is. First of all, let's just tackle what an amortization schedule is. So if you buy a house with a 30-year mortgage, you need to understand something. It's not like you're paying a portion of interest and a portion of principal that is the same every month for 360 months or 30 years. What the banks are doing instead is they're saying, you know what, we're the bank, we're in charge, let's play by the rules that we make. And the rules that we make say that it should be mostly interest up front with a little bit going to principal, and after years and years of paying on a mortgage, we'll start letting less of it go to interest and more go to principal. And by the way, after 30 years, by the time you've paid the house off, you'll have you'll have paid a certain amount of interest and obviously enough principal to pay off the house. So how much interest are you really being charged? On average, you're going to pay for your house two and a half times over 30 years. Yeah, so if you have a $300,000 house, you're probably going to end up paying $750,000 for that house. You're going to pay a lot of money for that house because the banks have amortized it on their amortization schedule to be in whose favor? To be in their favor. And bottom line is they know that after five years, people end up moving. And so they don't want you to pay down, you know, an equivalent of a sixth of the house in five years over a 30 year period term. What they actually want to do is make sure that majority of it is going to interest. So bottom line is when you do a 30 year loan, the mortgage wins, the bank wins. They're going to win on interest. And remember, they're going to have you pay for it two and a half times. So that's what an amortization schedule is. Depreciation is altogether something different. A depreciation schedule um, really comes back to the tax benefits that you and I get as investors for the, how the government thanks us for being investors and they stimulate the economy by giving investors tax write-offs according to depreciation. Let me share with you what that means. The depreciation rules have recently changed, but off of the old rule, for example, you could take a home and depreciate it over 27 years. So, for example, what that would mean is take a $100,000 house and take hundred grand and divide it by 27 and you get right around $3,000. Every year, the bank will actually write off $3,000 of the house. The next year, three more thousand. The next year, three more thousand. The next year, three more thousand. So basically, the depreciation creates a significant tax benefit. In fact, right now, the tax rules have changed on this and you get to write off an even heavier percentage of the depreciation. There is a catch-up period when you go to sell the house, unless you're doing a 1031 exchange, however. And so, uh, to really break it down and make it really simple, amortization is usually tied to interest, and it's basically what amount, and most amortization schedules will favor the bank with most of your payment being interest now. And then when you're in year 27, the majority will be principal with only a little bit of interest. Banks are gonna take their money up front. Depreciation is chopping up the house and basically saying you get to write off this house in chunks over time. And how much chunk is it? Well, it ends up being enough that for us investors, this ends up equating to some huge tax benefits. So when we say amortization versus depreciation, this one is in the bank's favor instead of yours, and this one is in your favor, especially with current tax law. Thanks for being here so we can break it down for you. Hope this is helping increase your massive knowledge bank. If it is, go ahead and like the video. Also subscribe and ring the bell. This lets me know to send you daily notifications of the videos that we got coming up so we can keep deepening that real estate relationship. And who knows, maybe in time you and I will be partners out there doing real estate together. If you're feeling like, wait a second, why aren't we doing that right now? Then hike on over to the website, check it out. We can start making that happen today.